Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Today's character is the one and only Blue Baby. Yay. Alright. So we only have soul hearts and we have the poop. It's a good life. As you uh, are probably already very acutely aware. But we got this. Thanks for the red heart. Poop always knows what I need. It's uh, actually I want a bomb for once, but it is nice to have a key early. Now I need two bombs. Okay, there we go. Luring that guy out some... Oh, that was not cool of you. Just want you to know that. It worked out, but it wasn't cool. Uh, that was the wrong kind of bomb. Unless there are others there. Maybe there was a tinted rock. No, there wasn't. Sorry, secret's out. So on the plus side, as uh, Blue Baby, we do have a 1.05 damage multiplier instead of just 1.0. And that one's a that is chance to fire a charm here. It would cause enemies to attack enemies instead of me. Yeah, man. <laughs> nice job getting killed. This battery is a huge deal. I really do need Tinted Rocks as this character, by the way, since I can't have any Red Hearts. So, you know, it'd be pretty great if I actually got bomb drops. I can't get to that bomb. I'm sorry. And then I fight Ragman. Oh, joy. I just love Ragman. Hey. This is nice. I like when Ragman is charmed and wants to attack nothing. Because that's where the thing died. This is good. So just attack the faces when you can. Ah, oh, don't be that guy. Alright, you two have fun killing each other. Thanks. That was good. Alright, that was good. It's a uh, health up. Chance to drop a red heart when I get uh, hit. So yeah, I'm not going to the curse room. And I just have to abandon those two tinted rocks because, yeah. Not trying the pill and the shop wasn't worth going to. That sucks. Alright, it's giving me another chance. Of course, it's giving itself another chance, more realistically, to not be a jerk. But, you know, we'll see. Anything can happen. Game could not give me a bomb. I think the latest I've ever not gotten a bomb was, like, Depths 1. Maybe it was Caves 2. It was one of those two floors. Either way, it was ridiculous. Didn't get a single bomb drop for that long in the game. The odds of that are just so low. Alright, there we go. We did it. The curse is lifted. Right, I'll grab that on the way back, of course. That's pretty good, actually. I'm surprised I got that lucky. I like it, though. Okay, just don't kill me. I have pretty good health for now, but the thing is, all devil deals will cost three soul hearts. I can't get them for cheaper. So I'm kind of out of luck. The best deal is something I want, and then... Ah, uh, Abaddon. Because then I can go all the way down to something that would kill me. <clears throat> Take Abaddon. And then I'm set, because that gives me six black hearts back. So that would be the strat. But obviously I can't just have Abaddon every devil room and take it every devil room. That's just not how that works. So... We'll just hope that I get it this time early in the game so that I have something to work with to keep me alive for the rest of the game. I don't think I will. But packs them are good too just because they give me soul hearts back. 
range up isn't quite what I was hoping for, but it's not like it's bad later. I am going to take Maw of the Void. Good item. Makes it uh, so that I get one damage up. Oh, nice. And uh, as long as I shoot for three seconds, I get that upside down cross you see on my head when I let go. I do that. I eat my eyes. But no, I get that, and if that kills an enemy, it uh, gives me, or it's a chance to give me a black card. No guarantee, of course. That would be amazingly broken. But this could be health generation for me, which is what I want in my life. So I like it. Spectral tears, sure. Could be worse. And I'm going to continue this floor because I do want to get some chances at black hearts. And since it does damage relative to mine, it does kill stuff really quickly because it does it so often. It's actually, you know, pretty good. Especially against multi-segment bosses. Or just multi-segment enemies, of course. So I am going to try and use it exclusively just because of the black hearts. And since it's so damaging, that's actually not that big a deal. Uh, there's no reason not to take this, exactly as it says, extended stat effect time. So my charm tears will last longer if that happens to be a thing that happens to any enemies. Alright, I have spectral now. Not going to the shop. Only have one key, not quite enough money, but I would get enough money from bombing. I want to keep my bombs for tinted rocks, since I've been doing pretty well finding them, actually. Yeah, I may as well, just because enemies. See? Instantly worth. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So this is the strat for pretty much the whole run. And that's okay. I can bomb for this. Oh, maybe that counts as a ground, so that's not true. I thought it would bounce. It, it then didn't bounce. That's a luck up, so that's good. These guys, there is no reason to use this on, except that it kills them way faster than my tears would. Which is a good enough reason for me. Ah, oh, dang, I almost dodged that perfectly. That's why I appreciate this item. Because, like, even if it only does exactly my damage or something, it does it constantly. It does it so quickly. Sorry, just waiting for charge. It's good strats. It just does it so much that... It kills things really, really fast. Maybe it does twice my damage, though. I don't know. Can't quite kill everything with it and still not take more damage than I gain health. No thanks. Not if I'm not immune to explosions. Dang it. That item is if I hold shoot for a few seconds. I think it's three as well. Uh, I drop a bomb. It's a butt bomb, so it does an area of effect throughout the whole room that does minor damage to enemies and also uh, stuns them a little bit. <clears throat> it's got some value, just it also is like easy to kill yourself with it or damage yourself at the very least. And there are two of it, I'll try it out. Alright, it doesn't do anything. Oops, I keep doing that. Those guys are really easy to dodge as long as you just don't move from where you killed them. Alright, so sadly against this boss, I'm really apparently just bad at dodging that even though it's really easy. Uh, it's just not to your advantage to get close to it most of the time. Tears up by 0.4 and 2 soul hearts, that's good. And I am going to get out of here. think it'll be fine. Just need to stop making that bad dodge on those enemies in particular and that's like it.
All right, so it seems that the um, circle starts at the point in the animation where I left off when it uh, faded away last time you used it. Just, you know, so you know. I wish these batteries were useful, man. I do. Alright, you keep spawning things if you'd like. I will just have more things to kill to potentially get black hearts. I just got three right there. That's awesome. And sadly, it's not on like an enemy count system or anything, so it's not like, oh, once you've killed ten enemies with it, you'll always get one. And it's nothing like that. It's just random. And I don't know for sure if it's luck-based. I think some people told me it was, but then like it really didn't feel like it when I had a bunch of luck and used it, and nothing makes sense, and I cry. Fine. I would go in there. Well, there go all of them. Kind of hard to miss with that thing, too. Like, I don't know how I got one that spawned inside of the circle or whatever. It didn't spawn inside the circle. Just, I spawned the circle outside of it. Which is, like, tough to do. Haven't been to the item room yet. I think I'll go there first. And I think that we'll find something great. Guaranteed easy every time. Yeah, okay, that was close to me, sure. It's fine. This is actually really good. Uh, my bombs now stick to enemies. If they kill an enemy that they are stuck to, they will, uh, yeah, I want that. Uh, they will have that enemy drop a bunch of spiders, which will do uh, two and a half times my damage. I don't know how it determines how many spiders, but it uh, it's good. So this item allows me to use whatever card or rune I have as my use item without getting rid of the card or rune. It's quite useful. So this enemy should have three chances to drop uh, black hearts, one for each segment. That's how it works on Chubb. Right, that's health up and damage up by 0.3. <clears throat> I will take the goat head. Oops, that's fine. Goat head is a guarantee that every devil or angel room that can spawn will spawn. And it will stay open for me. I can't really pretend it matters if I use the uh, aura. It's not an aura. I use the Maz circle for that. I think I'd like to, but it doesn't really give me anything. Same here. Except I actually couldn't use it if I wanted to for that that guy. This guy, though. May as well, right? I have a desire to use the black heart, but it's only three enemies. <laughs> and I got him. I should try to kill enemies with bombs, though. That is a good strat. Man, my black hearts, they're not spawning, they've dried up. The fountain is dry. There are none left. It's okay. It's still my best form of DPS, and it's good movement practice. I mean, that one I probably was going to get hit anyway, but just got to hope that you're not too slow to get in there and get the damage in right away. There we go. 
fountains found something to do. So normally, you know, I'm just gonna take it. Little Steven likes to spawn everywhere. Spawns in boss rooms and whatnot, and item rooms. It's all over the place. And I just don't want to see it again. Like, it would suck if I didn't take that one, got it in this boss room, and then lost a chance at a magic mushroom or something again, just because I didn't want to pick up my first familiar. This is the only familiar I feel that way about, because it's the only familiar that likes to show up everywhere. But that is a thing, and that is a reason to pick it up even when you don't actually want it. <laughs> Truly uh, perfect luck on that card. It's a super useful card for me, what with all of my red hearts and junk. But maybe I'll get a dark bum. In which case, that is good. Just don't kill yourself for once. I want that to be my job. Alright, Monstro 2. It's gonna be a little time consuming, but that's my own fault. And sadly, even if I get a Dark Bum, unless I get a health up, I can't use it. I can't pick it up. Oh, ho, ho, four soul hearts up. I'll take a guppy piece. It's uh, not an orbital, but like a thing that follows me. And it blocks tears perfectly, even when it's tiny. So I just stand behind it, no tears will hit me from the front or a few angles from the side. And I'm good to go. And uh, it does damage to stuff. And as it does enough damage to stuff, it grows. And eventually... Dang it, that was my own fault. It doesn't eventually. When you leave for a new floor, it uh, goes back to its initial size. Not initial size. It goes back down in size by a set amount, but not to its initial size. Unless you didn't have it too uh, particularly large. Figured those were actually worth it. I got one black heart. Can have faith if I want. Alright, I should go in there because it's free. I have unlimited keys and whatnot. This luck up is gonna be the dream, so I'm gonna keep it instead of the store key, which would be pretty much useless since I only got one more store on this floor for pretty much the rest of the entire game. I knew I wasn't gonna play that guy, may as well blow him up. I have goat head though, so it's not like it's for the devil rooms just because. That's okay. Haha, I found you. That is a respawn item. Oh, that could still be good. Thank you. Uh, that is, if I die, I'll respawn as Dark Judas. I'll have two black hearts, but I can get red hearts. I'll have a 2.0 damage multiplier as a character, because of course I'm changing character with that. Uh, and I'll just have Judas base stats otherwise. It's real good. <clears throat> oh boy, the tower. Just the other card that I always wanted. I'm not going to do a boss challenge room. Doesn't spawn me enough enemies to deal with this stuff. That's why I checked there. Can actually go to the shop this time. It's probably gonna be greed. But what are you gonna do? I'm not going over there, you know. If it had dropped a black heart, I would have just bombed for it. I didn't figure it would. Cool, since this is uh, Depths 2, I've gotta go find the shop before. Going to the boss, or I don't get to. But it was pretty close anyway. It's a little late for uh, there's options, but I can take Spider Mod, which shows damage numbers on enemies. 
and uh, also gives enemy health bars. It's pretty nice, so we can see just how much damage Maw of the Void is doing. And then I took the Paperclip Trinket. Yeah, so it just does my damage, but a lot of times. That's what I thought. Anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Lost my train of thought. Oh well. Can't have been that important. Polaroid gives me a invincibility every time I get hit when I only have soul hearts like this. Lump of coal increases the size and damage of my tears based on the distance they've traveled. I really want to want one of these. Screw it. I expect and kind of plan to die in here, just so you know. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about dodging. Oh, that's a good Now smart play would mean I should die before Oh yeah, I need to try and die in the next like right now. There are two black hearts here. I've only got five seconds of invincibility each time. But this is not doing full hearts. I need to bomb myself. It's going to be close. Wow. So picking these up won't restart the boss rush. And then I'm out. I know that guy only did a half heart with that attack. That's kind of silly. I'm okay with it. You know, I'll live. How was I doing more damage? Oh, I wasn't. Oh. These aren't affected by changed character multiplier or something? That's strange. Did you just run into spikes, you dummy? That's very strange, but it's fine. Oh dear. Don't worry about it. No problem. Wow. <laughs> Thing really wanted to hang out. So of course I have double damage now. And sadly, my beam doesn't as well. Apparently. Almost walked into those spikes. It's cool though, anyway. Even if it isn't doing double damage with me, it's still doing enough to really murder stuff really easily. That's fine. Oh, that's a good one. Dang it. I got one back. Alright, check if... No, it's not. Doesn't matter. Perthro, blank rune. Another one. Cool, got a soul heart out of that one. Some flies and spiders out of that one, and then we'll take this and we'll have a four rune d6. This sounds like a solid deal to me. Just need to remember I have it now. Don't know why I would bother doing that since I can't get to the stuff over there anyway, but don't worry about it. <sighs> Oop. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Sometimes you think you're going to have a little bit of space to go between the bounce, but you don't. And that's the sad life that you have to accept. Ah, oh, that spider had to go and get the kill. At least I got a soul heart out of it. 
That works out. And then I lose immediately trying to get a black card. What a surprise. That didn't look like it touched me at all, but it's okay as well. Remember, I have Goat Head, so even if I get a health drop right now, I don't need to pick it up immediately. Because I can look in here and see if I actually care about what I'm getting. And then I can go pick up the health and then come back and take it. So who needs the D6 when you have Mega Blast? So, Mega Blast is this guy. With Lump of Coal, it's absolutely stupid. It gets so absurdly strong within such a short distance. Ah, dang it. That, uh, you know, it's just pretty darn silly. It's a 12 room charge, of course, but that's okay. Let's see, tinted rocks in here? No, but there's one in here. Remember, golden chests are free. This is my tears are now coins. Is that a tinted rock? I don't think so. Maybe it was. Uh, my tears are now coins. When they hit enemies, they can drop money. Pennies, specifically. And they can't be lucky. Since I have Mega Blast, I will fight Hush, though there's a decent chance that that causes me death. So just, you know, something to keep in mind. So hopefully I can just generate some black hearts along the way. So Envy is a great boss, actually, for my item. Get me a few black hearts. Except I'm not lucky, so never mind. Alright, I'm not going to worry about blackharding these guys. Nor that guy. Uh, now I can go fight the boss, because I'm not using Mega Blast on it anyway. Batteries only give uh, three ticks for Mega Blast, by the way. Not the full 12, not like 6, not any of that stuff. But, it'll be okay. Alright, I'll just do this the easy way. Stand behind the uh, hairball and not have to dodge it all until the laser happens. the easiest, safest way to do things. Except I didn't dodge soon enough because I am a butt. Yeah, sure. One damage up. Chance that my tears fear enemies. Probably not worth it, but that's okay. If I didn't get if I get any enemy spawns, I uh, can use them because they're low health. Uh, so I can get a bunch of black hearts off of them. Chests are free, so no, no reason not to open these. <clears throat> okay, so this, when I enter a new room with enemies, it uh, poisons the entire room for two damage, or two ticks of my damage. There we go. Sure, PhD. Identifies all pills, makes any bad pills good and uh, gives me two full red hearts of recovery and drops a pill. So I don't use the um, Mega Blast on this phase. I use it on the next phase and it can, depending on my setup, do three-fourths of uh, Hush's health. I think it might even be able to kill if you have the right setup. 
Sadly, it's just not smart to be near this phase of the fight, or I would have probably gotten some black hearts out of that. Again. Fine, I'll move, dude. So as you can see, health scaling doesn't mean much. When this just spams that much damage. Alright, so you know, that was a pretty good amount of health done. That's my own fault. But this is what I'm talking about with chances at black hearts being plentiful. Alright, I need you guys to come hang out with me. Alright, see, I got two back there. Okay, this seems safe enough. I hope it's safe here, too. Basically, this attack is just find a safe spot that's safe for as many of the directions as possible. And then hope that you don't have to move that soon. So I also picked up Bloody Lust at one point and I never talked about it. I get hit, I gain damage up to six times per floor. It lasts the entire rest of the floor. And it goes up uh, to a lot. 5.85 I think is the max at uh, this point. I don't know, they either changed it or people remathed it and it was wrong and Really? That was a dumb, dumb dodge. Thanks for coming out of hiding, bro. Now, if you weren't coming with all of them, I would certainly try to get some black hearts out of this situation. That was my own fault that time. Oh my god, calm down. Not much I can do about that one. I'm gonna die. But I already bought the soul heart in here, right? Yeah. This won't give me anything. So. Onward to death and destruction and sadness. But I'll try and get a charge for this. I do have Holy Mantle, of course. Holy Mantle lets me get hit once per room and it just doesn't count, so that will give me a good chance at recovery. So far, already working perfectly. Even if I haven't gotten hit, you know, I can give it credit. It's cool. Don't worry about it, man. Sick. Never mind. That was only okay. Entering your room and having everything get two ticks of my damage is pretty good. Cool. I hate that room. The rocks are so inconvenient for actually fighting death. Close one. All those numbers. What do they mean? Death animations, man. Last so long. No thanks. I like my free chests. Speaking of which, I guess I'll grab this one. Guppy piece. It's 
spawns two to four kamikaze flies every room. Wow, that's so unfortunate that that happened. Oh well. I'll just uh, kill you normally. Of course, since he wanted to get near me, I figured I'd give him a chance to die. To the circle as well. Alright, so this is going to be the wrong way magically. Because welcome to my life. That was a good kill, though. Hmm, maybe not. Don't get your hopes up too quickly. It's okay. Just gonna save my use item for a chest, of course, at this point. And the uh, Isaac fight should be alright. Because I just get to stand here. Sadly, I didn't think enough. Could have stood much closer. And actually been able to use the circle on the boss. But you can't win them all. Unfortunately, didn't get positioned properly in time there. See, that's the kind of thing I could have done but for the entire first phase. Not worrying too much about my health, of course, since I'll just Mega Blast my way to victory next floor. All the way to the boss from the spawn. That's unlikely. So I've got one reroll on all this stuff. And you better believe I'll be using it. Uh, yeah, I'll take Ipecac. Plus 40 damage. My tears are now arcing poison bombs. 0.7 tears up. And the familiar that shoots random tears from the other familiars. So Mega Blast, of course, gets you a lot of charges for Mega Blast. Alright, that was pretty good. And then I know that I got a battery drop, so... Go back for that, get a bunch of charge for it. And then... See about using it again, literally one room later. Double my keys, that's unnecessary. Two rooms later, okay. But that's pretty good. Hopefully there are enough rooms to get something fun out of that. Oh nice, so it got the extra damage from Ipecac and my doubling of Ipecac. But not, uh, just not for my character multiplier. They all would've done. Really? Fine. I don't think I'm even going to get to another fighting room before it runs out. It's only 15 seconds. Alright, there we go. We did it. That's, uh... That's it. I'm not going to get to use it again this floor, so it's not like I need to do much more. It was fun while it lasted. At least I was on the right path for once. I almost could have made it to Blue Baby in one if I didn't go the wrong way at all. That's kind of cool. That's going to do it for today, though. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.